out of scrap. And I simply had them made from new. I could have cut them out of scrap because it's a pain in the ass cutting. This should have been slightly thicker metal, it should have been a bit bigger, but it'll do. That is the bottom. That fits neatly over there. Sweet. These always go slightly oval. Um, it's illegal to cut one of these up. It's also dangerous. I find knackered, damaged ones that have been chucked out at scrapyards. I'll unscrew the valve and the real way to do it, so if it's damaged... See, this is probably worth a couple of hundred quid to the company. Um, personally, I don't really you know, care about but it's better to... Um, scrap yards will chuck out the damaged ones that people have tried to weigh in because they're heavily dented or something and you can always get a good section. They've always gone slightly oval anyway. Well, that on there is a lip. Tack weld, tack weld, tack weld, tack weld, so you don't warp it. It'll usually warp from the heat of the welding. Then, that, that's obviously on there. This will fit, thanks. That is your base. You then have, so that's up there. It might need a fire rope if it's at all warped. Some of them work fine without if it's not warped. You're just getting that there. Weld four washers, so there, there, and there, onto this little metal ring. Four studs onto the base plate and you've got that's an easy quick way otherwise you can have quick release clamps any any fixing mechanism so that's that's the base and then so that'll be like that and there's just a disc with a hole cut in you have to cut a hole that size here yeah. make it as close to the bottom of there but half an inch up because you don't want a big gap otherwise you'll have a patch of unburnt charcoal at the bottom so you have a hole that same diameter, six inch diameter. Use a splitting disc on an angle grinder, a very thin disc is one way unless you have a plasma cutter. Cut the hole <laughs> there. Weld that on top. Again, a couple of tacks and then seam weld it. And then, but you don't, then you make up your elbow of pipe. Um, get a length of six inch pipe. Do a 45 degree cut, turn it round so you've got a nice, nice elbow. Which, what I tend to do, it doesn't matter if it's not an exact 45 degree, it doesn't matter if you have gaps because you want holes in the bottom of the pipe anyway, it doesn't need to mate up perfectly. What I tend to do is um, weld in the vertical, then push the horizontal through, then because you've got easy access through the bottom, you can weld up the elbow from the inside once it's in place. So you then weld the elbow together. Um, you've got the vertical welded to that ring, the horizontal welded to the hole you've cut, and there's your basic stove. Simple. Um, you got, so obviously, with this simple basic version, you drop the bottom off, fill it full of wood chip, bolt the bottom, bottom back on, shove a couple of legs on, just you know, find an old broken chair and just nick the metal chair and just weld the legs on. You know, anything, even, you know, short ones, don't need to be much. Just so you're not going to scorch the ground. Um, legs can be on the base plate or they can be on the ring or they can be on the gas bar. Um Then you, you've got the absolute basics. Then, obviously, uh, then, like I said, it's so worth having a bit of extra force there. A computer fan attached to a bit of scaffolding pipe. Well, this is stainless, but it doesn't need to be. Um, that plate will sit in the front of the combustion elbow. It's got the combustion elbow, the retort made. And if you ever want to get more advanced another day, you have an airtight shirt hopper like that one. So you don't. So you can then keep it in place. You don't need to take it out, undo the bottom take the biochar out, refill the wood chip and put it back, which is what I've been doing all winter under my heat exchanger for my hot water system. Much easier to drop the bottom, slide the damper out, drop all the biochar out, slide the damper in, tighten it up, keeping it all in place, and then just fill through a hopper on top, which is what mm -hmm. that one does. That's another project. Sturdy frame. But that's, then you've got the advantage of, if you're using it every day for your heating system, not needing to take it out, empty refill, put back. You just do it in situ. The big advantage, like I said, that these have over other um, 
gasifying stoves is because they're lit from in front there's a lot of lot of advantages but one is by lighting from in front and the shape of them it's easy to have a heat capture system on top so that's that i'll leave you with these parts and i'll leave you with the same but i'm you haven't got a cross open gas bottle um i'm going to show you as well there 